Jesus. Okay, so my theme tonight is to explore the nature of conflict. So, what does conflict mean to you? I think a disagreement to perhaps like fundamental beliefs. What you know, you you are in conflict with something if you don't agree with it. So, fundamentally disagreement. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Andrew? What's conflict to you? Yeah, the same. And in addition, it can be inside of somebody. Yes. It doesn't need to be always an outside matter. Very true. The conflict can be an inner conflict. It doesn't have to be an external one. Yes, yes. Um, is conflict a good thing or a bad thing? It's a difficult thing. Okay, more positive or negative for you? Yeah, mostly negative. Okay. But I mean, you know it's kind of mu neutral. Right. But maybe, maybe also I would, I would like to think it's slightly more to the negative. But I, I think fundamentally it's neutral. Okay. And I would say that if you were to ask a hundred people. Probably 99 of them would say it's more negative than positive. But I want to be the one in the 100 that says it's more positive because there's an opportunity for growth in conflict. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think it's about the way that you, you, you use the conflict. I think that's why I, kind of like, I, I like it as neutral because it depends what you do with it. You, you, know, you, may, you may wish to kind of not learn the lesson and then basically kind of like, you know, Keep to your selfish thoughts and beliefs and just basically kind of like, you know, continue a path that you haven't learned anything or actually get something positive out of it. Okay, so but I'm still falling on the side of positive because it's an opportunity to grow. Just because you don't take it, that's not the issue. The fact is that conflict provides an opportunity to grow. So when you think about big changes in the world, abolishing slavery, for example, did that come about peaceably? No, it didn't. There had to be a big hoo-ha before it got settled and it was agreed that maybe slavery was not a good thing. Um, and we could say the same about ecological change and environmental change. Uh, you know, these are hard-fought battles. But the nature of how we deal with those battles is what's important. So I think in Aikido, um, what we're trying to do is accept conflict not get into a battle mode. Um, so it's how we engage with the conflict. We don't, have to ex we don't have to agree with somebody trying to chop our head off. We don't. But how we receive that and what we do is what separates us from other martial arts. Because we handle the conflict. We look for a way where we can have a positive resolution that keeps us safe, but actually keeps our partner safe too. That's, that's the goal, isn't it? We both walk away happy. I think in the context of traditional martial arts, this is also something that is um, also exercised by other martial arts as well. I think it's a misunderstanding that only Aikido uh, has that kind of like um, uh, war of high ground. Okay, well that may be the case. Mm. I'm here to sing the song of, of Aikido oh, and, yeah, and I, I know the others as well. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's necessarily sold very well within Aikido. Uh, yeah, yeah, if I anything, know. Aikido is kind of like almost like the exception to the general rule. <laughs> but like, you know, it is about some development. And I think it's, I think, you know, obviously a, a sad thing, but like, you know, we have allowed conflict to be wholly negative, even within right. kind of like our, our own lives. Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to explore through the technique that we're doing tonight. Okay? All right, so let's do the warm up. So let's form our square circle. Square circle. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the left. One, two, three, four. 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 So even within the warm up, we're going to be exploring conflict. Are we working with our body or are we making it 
do things that actually it doesn't really like. It's fighting against you. You're taking it beyond its balancing point. Or you're just being lazy. not doing enough. Well, that's a conflict, though, is it? Being lazy is not so much a conflict, but it's not in line with your values, I hope. So, in a way, it is. Okay, left hand up. One, two, three, four, five. These are your body and mind in tune with what you're doing now. Does it feel really comfortable and energetic? Come on, count and talk. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. 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 solid. Perhaps your knees should be a little bit soft. You should be very aware of the weight underneath your feet. Keep going, Tim. Okay, good. And then you can see it doesn't make a difference. Okay. And it's about noticing those small things. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll go back. One, two, three, four, to stop. So you can stop. Go on, one. Stop when you get there. sensitive to this because unless yes. you bring it into, into, into sharp contrast then you won't be able to understand we what are is sensitive there. to it my job is to bring your attention to it mm. and make you sensitive to it because when I do that I'll improve the way you work I won't you will but only by shining a light on it and saying notice see what's going on right so that's so, the whole point so would you say that the test is a sort of conflict that actually allows us the opportunity to actually understand what we uh, we need to do. Well, potentially, uh, you know, it, it's. I'd like to describe the test as just holding a mirror up to you, but making you have a good look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can't ignore it any longer. We can walk through life and never have to look in the mirror and, and see our faults. But if someone holds it right up close, you can't help but look. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you have to take a look. Especially if someone insists. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it tests a very visceral way of experiencing really what's going on. And that's the point. It's not to make you look stupid. It's just to make you realise how you're using your body, how you're using your mind. Okay, so uh, you did really well. So come down, maintain that position. Okay, and now think of the fact that Alexander won't ever go to sleep and that you're constantly tired and how annoying that is. Shall I just start crying now? <laughs> you can. Yeah. 
That's the same fact. I can disturb his mind, I've disturbed his body. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, let's get back in position. Uh, okay, so a little bit of a stretchy. One, two, three. Call a halt in a second, so oh. one, two, stop. <laughs> not picking on you, honest, I'm not. <laughs> okay, not bad. So, where's that going to just relax? Is it okay there? Um, just the load, just your body, that's right. Where does the weight stop it? But you must be doing catch ups, so I'm not sure you're in there. Mm -hmm. So, where does just if you let go and don't you think about it, where does it stop? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Where does it stop? There. No movement at all now. Yeah, so don't kind of stop it in thinking of the next one. Haven't gone all the way down yet. <laughs> all right, that's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, stop. Ah, come on. <laughs> this is a, this is a fair. <laughs> Just make wearing your shoulders. You don't want them hunched. Mm -hmm. So relax your shoulders. Really, really push out. Really, really, really do. <laughs> yeah, too much. Comment. So when you extend beyond your physical comfort zone, you're creating that internal pocket. I don't like this, it's uncomfortable, but you're not acknowledging it. Yeah. And mechanically, you lock, lock up completely. Yes. So mm -hmm. you have to find the place that is a stretch, but not such a stretch that you feel uncomfortable. And your ex your extension should go beyond where your fingers are. Mm -hmm. Right. So can I just test that? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you're just going to put your mind to the edge of your mm -hmm. world. Yeah. Okay. And now it's flooding out of you. So now you should be looking at your bones, but soft gaze, taking you, you're already grinding my food. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's different. Because mm -hmm. when you're trying to avoid me, yeah, that's not, not good. 
can't avoid the conflict, you've got to engage with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so uh, we've done that. Uh, head exercise, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. So stretching forward. <laughs> Already messed with this head. Yes. <laughs> okay, so count to four. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Good. Okay. So maybe you're overstretching a little bit. So how far can you come forward and feel comfortable and not feel like you're pushing it? There's not pain. <laughs> so to just let your body tell you when to stop, rather than thinking, yeah, I must go for... Okay, let's try that. Okay, that's good. Can you go a little further? If you relax and breathe. Ah, that's it. Yeah, good. Mm. So that's kind of where you want to be. Okay, so there's not a competition to look to see how bendy I am. <laughs> We're not measuring that. The only one that should be measuring it is you. You want to push it, but not so far as you think, oh, this is a bit uncomfortable. I hope we don't do this for too long. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. speak for you guys but can speak for me as you get older <laughs> you get more things happening in your body that you kind of notice <laughs> so acknowledging them as you're going along I think is a good thing not pushing on through and thinking nothing's going on see I'm just as I was when I was at 20 or no actually so, oh no I can notice my back and actually in a way when you do that the pain goes away the discomfort goes away just because you acknowledge it Three, four, five. Pain is slightly over the discomfort. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. To the right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Say the question again then, because I'm confused. So, when you are dealing with a situation, not a physical situation, but it's exactly the same as the physical mm -hmm. So, if you enter into a situation, social situation, if you like, or a business situation, where you feel uncomfortable, what are your options? One of the options 
Escape, yeah. Pretend it's not happening, go in the opposite direction. Yep, if you can't see it and you're not involved, it's not uncomfortable anymore. But you can't solve the problem, usually. Okay, what else? Facing it head on. Kind of facing it head on, yeah, sort of blasting through it. And when you're uncomfortable, why are you uncomfortable normally? What's the reason for the discomfort? Maybe there's a feeling that you don't really have control of the situation. Yeah, you're not sure you can deal with it, mm. right? So or at least get to the outcome that you would like to have. Yes, perhaps. Yeah, you're yeah. not sure you can bring this to a successful conclusion, mm -hmm. if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and when you walk into a situation and you're uncomfortable and you think, well, I'm going to do it anyway, nine out of ten times, what happens? You fail. You fail. You fall over because you've taken on more than you can chew. So, what's the third option? Well, I suppose um, take in and like we have to do that to give too much and try to basically kind of find a way to, to change it. Okay, Martin, other words for maybe saying something yeah. similar. Get comfortable with it. Yeah. And how do you get comfortable yeah. with it? You kind of sit there for a while and you find out what you need to, what, what resources do you need to feel comfortable in the situation? Yeah. So you pull in the resources Okay, this is seems like okay. I can handle it here now. I can take another step now. Yeah, you can push on through. So um, let's each just another time though. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes strategy one, exit the room, is the best strategy because you don't have the wherewithal to stay there and handle this, and neither you have the strategy to push through mm -hmm. and handle this. So go away, find the resources, and come back. So it's a postponement rather than complete escape. Because problems tend not to go away. And also nothing has such kind of a finality. But you know, you have to deal with it now or disaster is going to look before. There's no Armageddon. Obviously in life yeah. sometimes it's it's a now or never. You know, you have to take the one in ten shot. You don't have a choice. But you know, if you, you have choice, choices, you usually have choices. Yeah, no, I accept that. And what, what, what I'm thing just thing saying that like, you know, if I said on here, recording, I will just walk away from and come back later. That's not always possible. That's, that's all I'm really saying. Yes, if you have the option to walk away and come back, and you don't have the resources, then that's the best solution. So, right, let's just try something with you. Okay, so we were doing that exercise, right, and you were stretching forward, and you pushed it to what would be maybe your normal level, but because mm -hmm. your back's uncomfortable, it wasn't as perfect as you had to do. So let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so you stretch out. Okay, so is that slightly uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I want you to do is just kind of notice where it's uncomfortable and send a bit of your attention there and say it's going to be okay. to deal with the uncomfortable, you've already taken a big step to acknowledge that it's okay to be uncomfortable. This is the place where I can, I can learn new stuff about how I work as a body and how to handle this situation. If you don't put yourself in a situation, how on earth do you learn about it? So you've got to put yourself there in order to get better. How many times does a baby fall over when it's learning to walk? A lot of times, but in the end, they start to get better with it because they never give up trying. Okay, just lean forward. Okay, coming forward now. In a way, we don't all smash each other's heads. That's good. And drop your foot as low as you can. 
the last acknowledging that this can produce there is any and back. <coughs> Pause. Most really senior and respected Aikido teachers, how many of them have got great bodies still? They're not a wreck. Most of them are a wreck, right? But they somehow still impress and they're still able to do the job. Of course, unless if, it, if it's a, 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 the system allows for a conservation of the body, then uh, it's very, very hard to actually kind of like you know, do it a, at a reasonable level or a high level without compromising well, your body. Maybe. So one of my personal things about my journey is that I always made sure I looked after my body. I didn't allow people to take liberties with it. I never practiced it in a system where the, I allowed that to happen. And I look around at my knees are still good. On the whole, my body's are pretty good. And I think that's because I did make sure that I put that in place. Mm -hmm. If you join a school where yeah, okay, you have to take it to be a man, Strong woman, mm -hmm. then you know, yeah, there's a there's a price to be paid for that. Yeah. I think later on in the day, but you have almost like a golden era, and then, and then it's catastrophe. <laughs> Absolutely. Usually, uh, there's knee replacements or hip replacements. You got my wrist. Thank you. Good. So what did I do? He grabbed my wrist, so I thought fire with fire. And if you didn't have the centre, you had. He would have panicked and he probably would have gone down. Yes? Well, I was almost on my way down because but I thought like I could just about <laughs> and keep, keep on yeah. it. <laughs> so rather than um, I, I my conflict was him against me. Right. And if I do it slow, I can put a lot more force and nothing really happens. But if my conflict is okay, how can I become one with you? It completely changes the nature of the conflict. I'm not terribly interested in beating myself up. I'm not very interested in trying to beat him up. I'm just, you know, okay, so you sure you want to grab my wrist like that? Is that really what you wanted to do? You know? I think there's also a very, very slight difference mechanically. So because the, the, the mind and the body are integrated, they work better. And actually the body is more efficient. For example, if there's a, a tiny, tiny, impossible to perhaps um, see in camera or maybe to hear, but could you perhaps see that there's a, a slight extra movement that was so imperceptible that I could feel it instantly? And like, you know, previously you were almost holding back, but this time you embraced completely. Yes. That, that yes. The mechanism. Yes. And that was impossible for me to yes. hold anymore. So, you're absolutely right. So whatever goes on in my head affects the way I use my body. So while I'm in conflict, the way what happens is that my muscles become very tense mm -hmm. and reasonably inefficient. Yeah, your body almost feels contracted as well. Yeah, it's almost like you lift up now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm very unstable. Yeah. But when I'm kind of happy with myself and I'm working with universal principles, I'm grounded, I'm extending, this is my space. Mm -hmm. oh, it's very hard for this soft power to not have an impact. So it's changed the way my muscles are working. I, I, I would like to say it, it changes my ability to join with him. When I'm doing it physically, this is where my world ends. Anything beyond that, I'm not focusing on that. I just don't. But as soon as I'm able to calm down and see the big picture, which is him, he's the one that's grabbed my wrist. This isn't the problem, that's the problem. I have to accept that to change it. Yeah. Plus you take into account my physical structure as well, not just kind of like a little point, just yeah. because this, this is the conflict, or it appears to be the it's, conflict. It's a result of changing your thinking. Yeah. Um, but it gets more difficult when it happens in a sudden moment. I mean, when we are practicing it here, while focusing on ourselves, it is a little bit more easier, even still difficult, but sure. in the, in the, for example, the real case on the, on the street or, or even here, yeah. when we are trying to do it quickly, sure. in my case, I probably it's 
Okay. So how do we change that? Um, I suppose like maybe trying to be calm or like so how do we how do we try to become calm? By breathing or breathing, maybe. Okay. By practicing it more in the situation. By practicing. <laughs> By practicing. <laughs> so any skill that you want will only come about through practice. So the reason you show up here is because it's tough to do out there in normal everyday life. But here, within this protected environment, you can explore this idea and this skill in a safe way with no consequences. If you start grabbing people over let me see if I can take you down to the ground in everyday life. It's not going to happen, is it? So what you're doing in your practice is you're building up uh, a muscle memory, you're building up a mind-body memory that when somebody grabs your wrist, this is automatically what comes out. It's not a thought process, oh, I must be gentle now, because it only works when I'm gentle by that time you've been steamrolled. It's just someone grabs you, you do this, and, but I didn't do anything. That's, that's really what it's about. It's about having, changing your inner beliefs and habits and thoughts so that it's at your disposal when it's needed. It's, it's no good if it's available only here. But the way, you know, we have to make it available here all the time for you to have the possibility of being able to do it out there some of the time and then all of the time. I just wonder, I have to add is a caveat, because um, what we learn will only um, be applicable in specific situations that you expect ordinary people to, for example, come to grab an attack. You're not expected, for example, to go to a fight for somebody who already, for example, knows how to fight in, a, in other specific ways. I think uh, Aikido, especially the way it's been developed... Yeah, so that, that, that means, that perhaps, that perhaps what you, you may have been trying to say is that we don't really learn necessarily how to, uh, to fight on the street, but we actually learn to, to be aware where the conflict could come and how we're going to defuse it. And if, exactly. for example, something uh, you're, you're completely, right. Right. negotiations break down and there's a, a physical attack, try to be in a situation to, to, to not just react, anticipate it, you know it's going to happen, and get out of the way. Keep yourself safe. But you're not actually saying anything different to me. You're still cultivating habits to deal with what comes your way. But one so what we do develop mm. here, I'm not trying to make you street fighters. Mm. Right? I'm certainly not a street fighter myself, so you know, I'm not making that claim. But what we do have an understanding of is awareness. So we begin to notice when the atmosphere is changing and where we need to kind of bring it down. We're aware of space. So, you know... Why are you saying that? You know, maybe, oh, why are you, why are you saying that, maybe? That's interesting, can you explore? It's a completely different way of saying exactly the same thing, but you bring a different thing out of him, right? So the conflict is not often that someone grabbing our wrist or taking a wild swing at us. Lots of wild swings are very, you know, well aimed, but mm. you know, but we can kind of think, that guy's really dangerous, I'm gonna go up. You know, I'm not in a, I, yeah. that is, escape, Find more resources if you really want to take that guy on because you're going to need him. Yeah. And I think, I think obviously we have an understanding here, you know, week in, week out, we, we explore these things. So it's, I think it's good for anyone who is perhaps outside of, let's say, our, our friend circle watching this video to understand that, like, you know, we don't necessarily teach combat. We're not really, Aikido does not geared for combat. We're, we're teaching it's, how to manage conflict. Yes, but this is different. Yes, That's what kind of people need to perhaps to, to understand that like, a you know, way say, yes. to manage conflict, right. which includes saying, I'm wrong, you're right, thank you for telling me. Rather than, no, it wasn't me. You know, but actually knowing ourselves when to back off and say, no, actually it was me. And I especially in a I acted wrong. Or and to get to a situation where I really hear what you're saying. But it's against my beliefs to do that, so I can't go along with you here. But you know, that's when you just you, know, you do your thing, I'll do my thing. Or 
you're calm enough to take all the anger out of the situation and explain why whatever you've done might actually be the right thing. So that they're in a position to say, you're right. I can believe that now. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to manage the conflict, not to escalate the conflict to a place where maybe we have, don't have the skills and we're not training those skills. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. well, my personal opinion is exactly that. If you... Um, uh, we're going to practice in a minute. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just going to, to say that um, if you end up trying to physically use uh, kind of like a keto skills, kind of like, um, you know, what you learn on the mat, uh, then you have actually kind of failed at Aikido. And the reason why I say that is that you should try to, to avoid the conflict. Because you need to understand what's the nature of the conflict. As you say, you know, you either you have to understand that you were in the wrong, you have to back off, you have to apologize for that, or you can actually kindly explain that there's no need for the conflict, or at least let's resolve the conflict in a way that both will win. Perhaps they will get an apology from me, or maybe they will understand that it was not perhaps the right thing to say at that particular moment, at that particular um, you know, space. Yep. Whereas if you can only learn how to, to, to physically fight, you will never understand okay, uh, why you, 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 you know, you're you doing what you're doing. So the essence of that is, we're not here to fight. We're here to find out ways in which we don't have to fight. That we can explore difference in a positive way the one with the most power wins. Not a power game. Mm. It's about being honest. Okay, so I'm going to pass it to Daniel. You're going to practice with Laura. We're going to try and do it physically hard, but be careful <laughs> with each other. Okay, Dan, you know, part explore each other's lips and what's comfortable and what's not comfortable. <laughs> and then just try to do it a little bit peaceably. <laughs> <laughs> we have to practice on this, these three ranks of the map. It's a really big thing to go. Put me down. Yeah. Put me down. Yeah. Really put me down. In my way or in your way? Your way. 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 Thank you. 
Focusing on my thoughts here. Okay. Now I'm going to do this from my heart. Mm. I'm going to feel a kind of, I'm going to try and build up a kind of warmth towards me. <sighs> okay. So instead of everything is here, that's kind of all I'm aware of. I'm just trying to do this warm energy here. Yeah. Um, try that. Heart to heart, we say. It has an impact. Hey. Yeah, I'm going down, buddy. <laughs> Yes. 
you feel the difference? Yes. So just pause at the point where, okay, doesn't want to go any further. Let's stay there. Ah, so you almost go stay where it is. That's that. If you're going back, you move into your center, then up again. If anything is smaller, just stay. So find that point again. So if anything, don't stop it there. Or yeah, from there, where they are. so from here, move so I can actually. Nothing's going to change the, the physical right. tension between us here. Make me think now it's about the relationship. So you actually then yes. you are go there, mm -hmm. aligned. I think I got it. You cannot go here, then try to go here. Yeah. Impossible. So that make me think. Uh, no. Yeah, let's stay there. No, it's. Everything else is now about the connection. Even even right. at this point, just, just do this. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's just. So, there is this place where we meet. Anything else beyond that is doing what? Nothing at the moment. <laughs> well, what can you feel on your wrist? There's a little bit of tension. Aha! Uh -huh. Increased physical tension between us, right? And uh, do you like that feeling? Not particularly. Okay, what's your natural desire to do when somebody's trying to force you to do something? is to fight against it. That is you, Laura, that is so you. Okay, so I have to get to the place where you're not feeling threatened, but then it's not so easy, there's something going on. And this is kind of it. How do I do that? I just effectively give her the weight by taking the slack out of the system. No more physical involved. Everything else is now just about the connection. Did the tension on my wrist change there one iota? No. No. So I literally got to there, came to you, and just followed you. So she goes down, of course my wrist goes lower. Because I'm connected to her, but it's not me putting it lower. It's me just staying connected to her. There's no fighting this. We've joined two, we've made two, one, yeah, two into one, effectively, at that point in time. So you have to find that place where we've met, but there's no need for the other person to fight back. I, I think it's your positioning, though. You, you are essentially guiding the other person without really realizing it to a, a point of imbalance, because otherwise it wouldn't necessarily uh, work as, as well. Because at this point, kind of like, unless she's able to do it to you uh, equally, um, then uh, you you are at the other strategically at the dangerous position. Yeah, I'm on top. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. But if I push, oh, if has been, or I, yeah. I haven't changed her physically at all, she still has her centre. She's still grounded. She has all the way with all to fight back. Right. So. Um, I really don't change anything physically. What I change is my mentality to come to her. And then I just stay with her. I, I am not aware of anything I physically change when I got to that point where we met. It's then all about where my focus is. My, all my attention goes to my partner, and, and, and then the magic happens. Well, you're, not, you're not abusing that no. relationship, that connection. No, absolutely not. Because yeah, even if, for example, if, if you are right, but you're trying to force your opinion, then actually you're on the wrong because you're not actually yeah. following through what yeah. you're supposed to be that's advocating. Why, that's why I said, did I increase the physical pressure at all? No, I just followed law. You get one of these. If you practice nice, you get a cat flopping up in that fire engine. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll practice the door, you practice one. That's what you're looking for that place where you're comfortable, she's comfortable. Because there's only your uh, here, she, and each one here, and we go from there. Find the, you know, where you're, okay. everything's comfortable, <laughs> everything's aligned as well. And then you center, center to center. Right. 
So the first rule of engagement is get comfortable with it. This is an uncomfortable place to be, I can assure you. My shoulders are being pinned back. I feel you know, there's a strong desire to fight against this. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I let go, things start to open up. 
There's things I can do. But I have to say, oh, that's a bit uncomfortable. How can I get comfortable? Oh, I found the center of my brain. Ah, oh, that's OK, then. <laughs> Will understand. <laughs> but look, literally watch what I did. Oh, it's already changed. Yeah. No, there's just so many things I can do. This is very uncomfortable to hear. <laughs> <laughs> on a global scale, if we want to sort environmental issues out, we have to get comfortable with the way the world works and get comfortable with that. Then we might be able to work with it. Well, we can still disagree, though, on what, why, why things are happening like that. I'm trying to be as harsh. This country we can have now. <laughs> okay, so your hands are behind ah, you. You raise your center of us. So, Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, okay. Well, I just... It's 
no different to what you just did. Where does I need, where is I know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can go there. this point, it's a there. length. See what's from the there. down, just go That's where you want to go and, and go yeah, around. So more or less where you can go. Okay, so but the moment you commit to the same position. Well, you, oh, well, you don't want my arms to move. Like, for example, over yeah, there, my fingers. your arms are in the center. Oh, well. ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to do an extra bit. Yeah. But by the time you're doing this, I'm not sure you're like, uh, changing things. So think of it. Just rest it until you stop. I know that if I go beyond that, we're starting to increase the tension and now I'm getting into the battle zone. 
I'm not interested in the latter. I'm just interested in exploring where I can go. Holding my wrist, it's very, and I just touched him, so <laughs> it's, really well. but it's very difficult for him to control that movement mm -hmm. because he hasn't got hold of that. But this has changed our relationship entirely. He's still there, but I've changed my position in this incredibly. So now I'm in a position where, you know, no, yeah, you don't want to be doing that to me. It's not going to help us. <laughs> yeah. So if I can feel you, you can feel me, mm. and you go counter. So you've got to explore. Where's the edge? Where's the edge? Mm. I've just gone over the edge, haven't yeah. I? I've just gone over the edge. It's there. You, you need to touch. So you've got that spark between you and further. You're not trying to create a fire here. You're just trying to plug the system together so that you can use the combined power. Make sense? Okay. Let's try again then. Down. It's a 
No, 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 no. Oh, so you're the little fix me. Do you want to get? I don't know. Listen. Mm -hmm. So you're going to begin. Yes. <laughs> you're too, too, too much down, we're starting to fall out. That's what's still in the eye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, as you said before, to be confident that like, yeah. it will work <laughs> as long as I'm, I'm following the principles. brought it on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me be used to the power. <laughs> so I can't stop me with that grip doing this. But there's no withdrawal. So I haven't let him in anymore. Mm -hmm. I've kept him in the place. So yeah. yeah. Sometimes, more often than not, in fact, as human beings, it's very easy for conflict to be like that. We get drawn into that all the time. All the time, in little ways and big ways, we, 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 we find ourselves doing that. We're trying to break that habit, right? When we can be comfortable with somebody trying to make us feel uncomfortable, right? When it worked best for you today, what was your feeling in your body? Relaxed. Relaxed? At ease? Calm? How did that work? I hardly did a thing. That kind of thing, right? And when you felt comfortable with yourself, suddenly your capacity to deal with the situation changed entirely, didn't it? Is there any reason why that wouldn't be the case in normal life? If you just said, oh, today's problem is this. I'm really going to look forward to solving this one. And I was, oh my God, the world has ended. How am I going to deal with this? Two completely different ways of dealing with it. Really engaging with it in a positive way and working with it solves most things. If not straight away, sometimes it takes a bit more effort, but you know, you usually get there. But when you start trying to battle against it, People just dig down. You know, it's really hard. You know, people just, you know, they don't want to shift. So if you focus on the one thing they hate about you, that's all they see. Mm -hmm. I think you know, what you just uh, almost reminded me that most people see the, uh, the effects of the conflict, but not the causes. And therefore, they cannot really see from a third person perspective what the, the problem really is, and they only focus on what um, really affects them. 
rather than why it is happening. Yes. Okay. What do you think? Why? Why do you practice in pairs, and why is there a teacher? You give the third person perspective. You're doing that. You're not engaging as you should. I have the third party perspective to see why this thing is not being resolved successfully. That's what I can bring to the party. A bit of objectivity. Yeah. But you have to be, you have to try and be more objective about your own position first. Mm. Because I'm not always there, most of the time I'm not there, to spot it. And say, I was, just calm down a bit. Yeah, come back to your centre. Stop shouting so loudly. Speak calmly. Smile. Look at them. I'm not there, but you will hear me now. Every now and then you'll hear that little voice in your head saying, oh, I'm not supposed to be calm now, aren't I? <laughs> you just take a minute to breathe. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> and you gradually become a habit, but only if you want to cultivate that habit, because you see how you win, and actually the world wins through adopting that part of your strategy. Any questions or thoughts? That was great. <laughs> Very simple exercises, but I, they're meant to demonstrate a really important point. Because honestly, if you can get this mindset, I don't really care what technique you're doing, they will work beautifully because you've changed your mindset. Can I also add that like, because we're kind of like, we're cultivating this mindset, in the end, it doesn't really matter even if we um, put up more pressure, because you really usually know, since we're, what we're doing is principle-based and kata-based, we kind of know what is the best situation to respond on a particular attack. Sure. Therefore, in the end, you can actually be like an attacker pulling a challenge on. Yep. But because you already have done that, or you're working towards increasing the intensity, it means that like you, are, you can find your, your own calmness faster as well. You're not faced with just because someone is rushing towards you. So, if I grab your wrist, does it feel the same as when he grabs your wrist? Or when she grabs your wrist? No. They're all different, aren't they? So, having exactly the same answer to the problem may well not work. Yeah. You've got to be in the moment and, and feel what you feel and do the right thing at that point in time with the body you're faced with. Yeah? That's exactly what it's like. Mm -hmm. it we learn billions of techniques, but in it, don't assume they're the right one. You have to do the right thing in the right moment. Regardless of the intensity. But it's based on the principles that have been deeply embodied in you through the practice that you have. And of course, it helps you know, you have more, you know, the more techniques you learn, then the more principles you, you, yeah, you get to explore it from many different angles. That's mm -hmm. really what it's about. Yeah. Do you want to understand it now? Wonderful. So at some point, it's quite likely that it's been talked about.